Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today we're going to bring in the 50, the Latitude 5411. So let's take a look at it, and we're going to take a look at it, what's under the hood, too. So right now, first of all, the model, it changed a lot. It looks a lot cheaper now. I mean, plastic, they changed it from the old one, where it used to be a lot more metal. It feels more like plastic now. Um, on the back of it, same vents, you know, pretty much. Um, side of it, let's go ahead and start in the side first, all right? We got your actual uh, LAN adapter here, HDMI, two type three USB. And then if you guys are not familiar on this part right here, this is a, a, a an SD, a micro SD connection. This is where actually if you want to have your adapter from your phone or you want to transfer some photos or something. You could put it in here or you could save stuff in here, store it and give it to somebody else. On the bottom, what you guys see is a, it's a SIM card reader. That's pretty much. So on this part, I got a lot of questions on it. Uh, in order to make this work, you have to have one of your private riders, which is Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T. Uh, Sprint whoever you have you put in your sim card and on top of that you have to download their Application in order to make this work. It's an encryption They have to do it and they have to verify that you're the right use user So that's another thing that a lot of people are asking me How do I get it to work once I do this you have to download the application too before you start to use this and please check your local provider for more information on that now the system is not as big as I thought it was. It seems like they're getting smaller and the actual size of it right now, it's about 12 and a half, close to 12 and a half. All right. And let's check out the by nine, 12 and a half by nine. Of course, the monitors, I'm going to put all the information for the monitor, uh, the, the actual screen size of the monitor, the actual size of the screen monitor has changed dramatically. They actually have less of a uh, corners now. Now it's actually taking the whole screen. Now, uh, one thing that you, I, I like that they brought back because at first they were starting to bring the camera right below. I didn't like that feature. Uh, it blocked a lot of things out. Now they do have the camera back where it belongs in the course they give you a little shutter right here so you can actually close it for privacy there's actually two mics on the top so that's another thing that they have now a lot of people have problems where they close their actual monitor and they're doing zoom meetings or anything like that other people if you have your actual mic on from here if you're not using an external mic or anything else you're gonna hear the fans running so that's another thing that a lot of people have in the past and i actually had to support some people there where i had to tell them you have to connect somewhere else so the people won't hear the fans because they're using these actual mics and this is the problem that a lot of people have too so on top of that you have your power adapt your power connection here your power button here and the keyboard feels a little different. It looks, it looks a little cheaper than before. I actually, I'm a little di uh, disappointed with it. It seems like they're getting cheaper in the material. This is actually plastic now. Uh, it used to be more of um, aluminum base before. Now a lot of stuff is getting cheaper and lighter. Um, I'm not sure which route they're taking, but pretty much you don't have a full keyboard on here. You have the you don't have the 10 keys or anything like that. It's a smaller unit, so you're gonna have uh, a smaller keys. Um, I like that they always include the actual center mouse, which is I, I always like using this. Uh, the actual touchpad feels the same. I think this is probably the only thing that's better in here. Other than that, it's pretty much using the i7 cord, 10th generation. So there's a couple of screws you have to do. And this is you have to be careful with them because um, some of the screws um, a little are too small and you could run them if you don't have the right um tool kit so just make sure you you have the right adapter now they don't come out the screws don't come out you just have to unlock them pretty much and um you do need some sort of sharp device to actually or so a guitar pick i would i would say um to unlock and disconnect from the actual shell so i'm gonna go ahead and do that in a bit right now all right, so let's go ahead and continue. And now that we opened it up, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about details about it. So right now you have two type two two memories only. They only give you two slots for memories. That's pretty much what it is. Um, battery it takes pretty much the majority of the actual space, but it's an awesome battery because it's thicker than normal batteries. I see it. it and now I'm going to put the details of how many hours it can last. Of course, um, making sure that you don't have your keyboard lighted up because it actually 
uses more of the battery too and and then this one could be replaced easily i mean there's a couple of things you have to do just follow the pretty much the instructions that all the screws and they give you little details here you do have to unplug it at the end to take the whole thing apart now just to let you guys know when you guys pull the actual battery out there's a heasel underneath it's some sort of tape or something so be careful not to bend the battery because that's where a lot of batteries just uh, catch some flame now make sure that you buy it by a, a standard um provider that does this dell um, batteries because there's a lot of vendors out there that sell battery generic batteries that are not very good too so just be aware of that and make sure that you read the reviews too also um on top of that there's pretty much not that much space that you can do you cannot do it that much of uh, upgrading here you go upgrade the memory pretty much the memory and the actual m you could m.2 that's pretty much and this one is a uh, actual m.2 m nvme version so just be aware of that when you purchase the next version of uh um m.2 so let's go ahead and take it out so right now uh, there's two screws adapting here here and here they're really tiny so just be careful when you take them out make sure you have a magnetic um screwdriver phillips to take them out because if you drop them in there you might lose them in there and then it's going to be causing a problem so let's go ahead and take it out so right now um they uh, the they give you the copper top and this is to cool the actual the 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 actual m.2 and, it, and they, there's a little a thermal tape in here that uh, try not to touch it too because um you leave fingerprints of course i left mine there um this one actually keeps the whole system cool and it takes a little it, it feels like it's moist but it's nice it's just to keep it cooled down because this thing overheats a lot so you just make sure that because everything's compact in here a lot of heat traps in here so this is your m.2 that you have in here and you could upgrade this they have many many versions of it you go up you i mean you could buy a terabyte two terabytes three terabytes uh the more terabytes you're gonna buy the more it's gonna cost of course in order to put this back in here you got to make sure that you you reseed it right and let me put it here so putting it down make sure that you don't see any of the copper in there and all you have to do is push it down and screw it in there and then we're going to do that and continue on but first of all i just wanted to give you guys a rundown of exactly what's in here um sucks in the air here blows it out to the back um pretty much oh actually it doesn't even blow to the back it blows to the side now so if you guys can see it sucks it in here the fan actually rotates in here sucks the air in here and blows it out to the side now this one's actually going to cool down the cpu and the, the cpu is actually acting as a gpu too so it's an intel uh, system and it's going to re pretty much just mod one one area where actually it has to cool down everything and this is the actual copper where it meets it in here usually they used to have two fans on these systems but as you notice this system has slimmed down a lot more and the material has gotten a lot cheaper it feels more plasticky now and from two fans to one fan now uh it seems like it does the job but it's a it's a faster cpu then you're going to be rendering stuff or um playing games or any kind of that you're going to be you here in the the actual fan now in order to um take advantage of those things you have to be plugged in because the fan has to be constantly um running so if you have a problem with the fan sometimes do the uh, bios update uh, do a lot of cleaning make sure you have a lot of uh, d no dust bunnies in here uh, once in a while uncover it clean it up or just do it from the outside because um this fan is only one fan so if this fan fails the whole system is going to overheat now in the past when we had two fans one failed and the other one continue on it cooled down the system but uh, once in a while there was an incidents where we had to go in there and actually put thermal paste so there's a couple of screws you have to do in here i'm not going to go through the process of that maybe in the future i will up un unlock one of these systems and take a look at it but for today we're just going to talk a little bit more now the 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 memory is very simple opening it up memory pops out simple as that when you recited the same thing copper is showing up you make sure that the copper is not showing up you pull it in and you click on it and that's pretty much what it is same thing with all the adapters with all the the memory and the m.2 now there is another option that you can do upgrade your actual wireless card but at the moment right now there's not that much um enhancements to it so this should be fine enough with it so three things you can upgrade memory um your m.2 and then you go upgrade or later on to replace it your battery so this is pretty much what it is and if you have any questions or any comments i'm your host frank the tank and you've been watching upgrade